Hey, what's up, guys? I am super excited about this one. Quiver 2.0 is out, and it is how I always wanted to make it. Let's open it up real quick. It's in our extensions window. I'm going to shut this off real quick so we don't get epilepsy. So now if you don't know what Quiver is, you're probably one of those people that has an expressions document that you copy and paste stuff from. This thing is for you. Quiver allows you to pick something like uh, auto fade right here and hit T on this guy. Click on that and click. You can see now we have auto fade added to this thing and this thing will automatically fade in and out. We can click on this, hit the minus and boom, it's gone just like that. Never happened. So what is that? Well, these things are actually little text files. They're text files that live in your documents folder. So every time you get an expression, you throw a little text file in there and you're all set. That's actually how you used to do it in the old quiver. But that kind of sucks. Say you're doing one of these tutorials here. You got like a long expression you want to put in there. Let's grab this guy. Just click on this arrowhead right here. Paste that in there. Hit save. We're going to just call this thing fire for now. If you're on Mac, this will actually open directly to the folder that you have to save into. For some reason, the Windows one does not do that. I don't know why. They use the same function, but they act differently. Anyway, we save that. You click on here and boom, fire. You want to edit it. If you want to say, hey, let's add this thing to size. Add to size. Click down here, save it, open it back up. It's in there. Click on here, add it back in. Boom, add to size is on there. And that is the new quiver. You can now manage your entire expression library right from this panel and never have to visit that documents folder again. Well, after the first time, once you add it in there, we don't need an extra check to see that you've added this thing before, do we? I mean, come on. So if you already have an quiver library, this is going to work directly with it. If you haven't, it's time to start making one. So check that out. I hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys use it, and I hope you love it as much as I do. Thanks, guys. Bye.